Well, the third annual Genius Olympiad is getting underway at SUNY Oswego. And uh, here to talk more about the event and uh, perhaps a bit of a quiz for the hosts of Bridge Street, we're joined by Kelly Gagan. She's the Director of Public Relations at Syracuse Academy of Science Charter School. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you guys for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. You're, you're at the podium, so you're very official. This makes it official, this quiz you're about to get in a few minutes. We'll get to the quiz in a moment. Let's talk about this Genius Olympiad. What's the premise of the Genius Olympiad? Definitely. The Genius Olympiad, this is the third annual. It's being hosted at SUNY Oswego starting tonight. It is an international science project competition. Okay. You say it's international, but it's really international, right? It is. There are 50 different countries represented and 38 U.S. states. Okay, so how were these students evaluated? What grade levels are we talking? What age ranges? These are all high school students, okay. and the advertisement for this contest went out via social media to schools all around the world, and they submitted their projects to the folks at Oswego, who then evaluated all of them. So this is about 310 of over 700 projects that were submitted, so it's the cream of the crop. Wow. Wow. And what different kind of categories are you going to cover throughout this competition? Well, this is really unique because not only is it the typical science fair project that you're going to be seeing, but there's also creative writing, art, and design as well, so it's really a fantastic opportunity. Do you remember who has won in the past? This is the third year, so who won last year or the year prior, or what country? We have a number of winners from all different countries. Oh, so there's various, so there's winners for each category? Yes. I see. And it's tiered, so. Okay. Dozens of winners. So we have questions for us, huh? You do, and you do have a, a couple things that the public can come to, right? We definitely do. Tonight is the opening gala, as well as a public exhibition, so it's a great time for everyone to come on out and see what's going on around the world. My lab coat's a bit small. <laughs> Sorry did about that, the, Chris. Did you get the small and I got the large? First step of you second, put it right genius. over his shoulder. Oh, yeah, you want to try mine on? The power's in the no, coat. You, that's okay. okay. I'm going to go like the second floor. I'm going to have the edge <laughs> because I've got the lab coat on. You know that? I'm, I'm ready. I think you're right. Bring it on. Question number one. So you one. have questions for us, right? We do. <laughs> Question number one. Genius Olympiad has students from Mozambique competing. What ocean borders Mozambique? Caroline? Still doing my classes. What what is the Indian Ocean? Very good. Well done. Good Geography start. B. Okay. All right. Second question. All right. I'm ready. Ernst Haeckel <laughs> coined the phrase ecology. Mr. Haeckel was a native of what country? Say it again. Repeat the question. Will you spell the name? <laughs> oh, this is not the spelling bee. Oh, this is not the spelling bee. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> uh, origin of word. <laughs> Chris. I'm going to say Austria. Oh, very close. You want to chime in there, Carolyn? Germany. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, Germany. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Two for two. It's a lab coat. <laughs> I did give you that answer, but go you ahead. You did give it to me. I'll split that with you. All Third right. question. What kinds of gases are damaging to the ozone layer? A lot of them. It's, it's the one that comes from ozone. It's the ozone layer. CFCs. That is correct. Yes. No, I'm sorry. I, how was I supposed to know that? Well, I mean, <laughs> You're the scientist. It's in the news. <laughs> <laughs> and the last question. What percentage of the Earth's water is available for drinking? Oh, I'm going to say less than 10%. You didn't ring the bell. Oh, sorry. Chris? I'm going to say 3%. Oh, not right. Can okay. you say more or less? Less. Less? 1%. Okay. 2%. This is actually less than 1%. Yeah, less than small. 1%. Yep. Very really? small. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? The students won't be given questions. Once again, they're going to be. Now, it's a week long process. Yes. And it starts today. Here, I'll take my goggles off. There we go. What's happening tonight, though? Tonight we have the public exhibition, so that's a time for everybody to come on up to the university at the campus center. They can take a tour of all of the exhibits. So again, it's typical science projects. We have a local class from the Syracuse Academy. They're going to be studying the effects of fireworks over Lake Ontario. So projects like that, as well as poster art, anything creating awareness and to environmental issues. Fantastic. All of this happening over at SUNY Oswego. You can also go to GeniusOlympiad.org for a full schedule of all of the events. Thank you for uh, Going easy on us. On the are the students <laughs> given prizes? What are the prizes? Do you, offhand, do you know? Yeah, After are the, are the cash prizes, or we don't know? You know, I actually do not have the That's answer okay. to that question. Well, That'll be a surprise. Come tonight, you. find out. <laughs> the, uh, the, thank you very much, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> thank you guys. All right. Well, still to come, we are going to get a live report from Tim Fox as we gear up for Jazz Fest. He's over at Hanover Square with all the details on this year's event. <laughs> 